So this is a story I've never told before. It's um, it's my first adult felony conviction. First adult charge. I, I don't even think I was 18. Two months, you know. Um, I was going to work and I was taking someone to work. And uh, we're driving down the street. Some dude throws up his hands. Immediate U turn. I get out. <clears throat> I hit him in the mouth. He went down. I thought case was closed, you know. But dude rushed me from behind. And picked me up in some crazy ass wrestler hold. And uh, we were on a freeway, not a, well, the freeway was under it, but uh, there was like an overpass, so there was a good like 50 foot drop down. And dude was trying to throw me over the bridge, man. Fucking scary shit. And uh, the dude I was taking to work came in, flying jump kick. And knocked us both to the ground. I got him in the headlock. I hit him once in his face. And after that, I just remember my head hurting, my arms hurting, my shoulders hurting. The dude I was with was just booting. And, you know, he didn't give a damn who he was hitting, man. Because I swear to God, he fucked me up as much as the other dude, you know? So whatever we carry on to um go to work and uh i don't know man it must have been a couple months later detectives came to my apartment and arrested me for felony assault my dumb ass shouldn't have said nothing but i should have been like nah i wasn't even there but whatever so I bail out later that night it was $8,000 bail so I think I paid 800 to get out and uh, went through the court process and uh, 18 year old should not be I didn't really have nobody with me at the lawyer or anywhere I'm just on my own you know listen to this he's an older dude you know kind of reeked of uh, aftershave and alcohol but I didn't really think nothing of it should have at the time but it is what it is you know so we go and you know the DA offers me um, probation felony strike and uh Well, 90 days probation, not 90 days, um, five years probation. Um, I don't think there was any, even any jail time, maybe like 30 days or I get time served or whatever. And, um, you know, I go back to talk to my lawyer and uh, he says, uh, now nah, you don't want a felony strike on your record. You're only 18. You got to... Um, you gotta take this to trial. So I'll take this to trial, wow, you know? Okay, that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do, you know, that's what my lawyer says to do, that's what we gotta do. So I take it to trial, a trial of my peers. Yeah, man, there wasn't a damn person under 60 in that, in that, uh, you know, in that stand, and when that dude came on, he wasn't looking like a gangster that day, he was wearing like cowboy boots and uh, glasses, and man, he cried his eyes out on that stand, and his mom and his brother got on the stand and started crying, and It 
it was it was all bad you know and uh put me on the stand i didn't do that great put the dude that was with me on the stand he didn't do too great so we're both uh or i'm just sitting there and um my lawyer looks at me he's all yeah you're probably going to jail i was like what the fuck he said it was probation you know and it was funny because the DA, when we turned on the deal, the DA came by, walked by, and he's like, you're going to roll the dice on three years? I'm like, three years? That was like the max or minimum max you can get for the charges. But anyway, the trial finishes, you know, they go to deliberate. Swear to God, they were gone. Like I think they ate lunch, came back, and, and found me guilty. You know, and like it was like an hour at the most. And uh, I'm still thinking, fuck. You know, okay. You know, I'm gonna. They, then they arrested me right there, right from the, right on the spot. You know, had to watch my girlfriend and. At the time, my wife walked out with my, you know, baby, both sobbing, you know, crying. It was fucking horrible. And uh, so my court, my sentencing is in uh, in 30 days. And uh, he gave me a $150,000 bail. <laughs> Dude did not want me to get out. And... Uh, so we go and we're sitting there waiting you know for we're in like sardines in this little case in the El Cajon courthouse and um some dude's looking out the window and he's like damn whoever's lawyer this is you're fucked this dude's a dump truck and I was like oh no 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 and then sure as shit they called my name. And my lawyer was a dump truck, man. God. He was probably the worst lawyer you could ever have. So, um, I get sentenced. And, you know, my family's there thinking, okay, you know, 30 days, he's going home for a fit fight. Yeah, you know. And the judge... He was not sympathizing. You know what I mean? He was like, you know what? Your your partner didn't do no time. He was a juvenile. You're going to be doing it for both of you. He gave me a year in county jail. Instead of, uh, so instead of probation and a felony strike, I got a year in county jail, which my, I did six months, 20 days. Instead of going home and, and, and I should have took the deal, man. So basically, if you're ever in the position where you have a public defender, always take the deal. And whatever you do, do not let them put you on the stand, man, you know, and, uh, that was the first and only time I ever took any cases to the box, everything after that was, you know, but, the, um, yeah, and then the first day, the first minute I get into the county jail, this, older Paisa cat comes up to me and so hey you got some nice shoes I like those shoes what size are they and I already knew you know people put me up on this you know I, I knew what was going on he's been trying to take my shoes so I, I said my size and I hit him in the mouth and then I just get jumped on by like two other dudes and I'm just covering my head you know, 
and uh, out of the corner of my eye, I see like a big swastika on a dude's throat. And he just beat up three dudes. Not me. The dude that was just sitting at the table. It was a big ass dude. And then he uh, he whoops these dudes. We're in the fish tank, the old downtown um, jail. You can people get lost back there. People like disappear for days back there. But anyway, you know they just lick their wounds and walk off. And uh, I sit next to the dude. You know he starts talking to me and he says, "Yeah, I would have let him took you, take your shoes and beat you up, but since you fought back and showed heart, I had to get involved." And, um, he didn't really go into no white power shit or nothing like that. He was just, seemed like a regular dude, man. He'd been in and out of the system. Apparently, he just got 14 years for beating up two cops, so he was going away for a while. But after that, there was only a few scrapes and, you know, got lucky where everywhere I went was a good yard or I knew somebody but always take the deal mi gente los vemos